you draw soy sauce? By fighting flour. Okay, first, you need to sketch the head. This is very important. Make it because it's not just a pair of floating eyes and a mouth. So this is incredibly important to, to draw the head. D don't plan on skipping this step. Okay, it's, it's important. You get that. Next thing you do is that you draw a neck. You need to do that so then your head won't just go flying off. And you can also add celeste if you want. It's good because most people have twestos and they're not just floating heads. Okay, neck's also very important because they need support or else they can die. You can also add a sunny circle to make it look like it's wearing clothes because being naked is because being naked is illegal. Next, you draw in the eyes. They look horrifying at first, but they'll look better when we put the color in. Now you draw a big, draw a big smile because it needs to talk. And then you give him teeth so then he can chew food. And you give him a tongue so then he can taste food. I like to add depth in the mouth. So then it looks like it's actually a mouth with a hollow and not just painted on. It makes it look more realistic. That way. Next, you go and you draw a hair, and you draw the hair because not because I'm pretty sure it's not bold. It's not bold, so you give a nice hair. You need to make it look as messy as possible because it's how it's why I'm pretty sure it doesn't brush the hair. I like to add depth in the hair to make it look like there's hair all around and there's not like a damn bulb spot. I always tend to use pencils if there's any mistakes. I can just erase it and it looks like it was never there to begin with. Out of all I can know, I could have actually just drawn a masterpiece all the way. And not have a single mistake. Because that would just be unreal. And you need to make sure people think you can actually draw. Because who needs to eat anyway? You draw a bow because even guys can wear bows. Please don't be sexist. You can wear a bow if he wants to. It do not matter if it's around its neck or on its head. It's completely legal. Now you take your skin color and then you color in his flesh because he goes outside a lot and he's not a vampire despite what the teeth might expect you to believe. If your pencils don't want to cooperate, then shave their flesh off until they finally continue cooperating. This is a legal way of doing torture, and you won't go to jail for it, but you will have to clean up the mess somehow. But still, these things are just, well, these things just came from a live tree, so well, who says they need rights? Make sure to color in their mouth, because that's the part that you need to do. I normally just color in the tongue and get over with, but you can color in the other parts too if you seriously wanna. I color in the entire eye because with with light purple because that's how it works. I don't know what if that's healthy or not, but I don't know. He just lives in the mailbox in a broken mailbox. Who am I supposed to know? You color his hair with. This color, I normally use a watermelon scent, and this is a sketch scent and marker. So that's basically the only crayon I have that actually is the correct color. Even though I have been trying to use a pen.
pen sharpie an orange pen sharpie which seems to do the trick well but I prefer using this one because it's much more vibrant and it actually smells like watermelons so that's nice and something to keep a note with most markers is that unlike pencils you can't really erase them meaning that the basically permanent mistakes that you can't really fix like you know, I don't know how you raise your damn kids I normally tend to color in the back part because that's also hair but you can leave that part blank too if you want I don't really judge you but anyways you can do whatever the world you want with it Next, you color in the bow a nice red so it can match with its mouth and make it look good. For the bottom part, you can really use any color you want. But I decided to use the also fabulous pink because that's a nice color. It's my favorite color. A nice highlight of pink is very bright and I definitely recommend it because it makes things pop. Don't forget to sign your wax so then art thieves won't go and, and steal the art that you might have taken a very long time to make because those douchebags would just want to take it and get popularity. You can also put sign you can also sign it to help people know where the hell you are and See, these are actually part of the same thing. This is a very important step, so you should probably not skip it. Unless you seriously want to have your art stolen. That's all about you. It's mostly recommended to put it in a place where it's hard for them to get to it. So then it can be harder for them to remove it. But most people don't really bother about that. So you can really put it wherever you want. You can draw on the rest of the body, but that's totally optional. A lot of people just draw the head and they're normally good with it, so you don't really need to draw the rest of it. Also, there's not really any... Also, if the, those times I might have come close to swearing, but I can't really do that since it's going to be on YouTube. You probably read it. Oh, wait, did I forget to tell you I'm on that now? Yeah, go follow me on that. It's, um... It's a place that not exists. Yeah, so, now you know how to draw soy sauce. Great.